Well, day's finally here. Opening day of archery season, and I am pumped to say the least. First morning I'm getting out, got a place I'm gonna go in with sticks and stand this morning, probably about 300 yards away from a cornfield. Hopefully catch some deer that are coming back to their bedding early this morning. And it's also right along a creek, so maybe get some deer crossing over and stopping to get a drink. Okay, we'll see you out in the field first morning. Here we go, baby. It's about 9.30. Uh, I have not seen any deer this morning. I'm sitting in a new place about 300 yards off a cornfield down in a little valley where uh, a trail comes across a creek. Wanted to sit here early in the season and just kind of get a feel for the place. I think it's got a lot of potential. Uh, a lot of bedding up to my right and uh, a lot of oaks off to the left, but this fall there's no oak or oak acorn mast uh, because of the gypsy moths. So good morning. I'll sit here maybe in about another half hour. And then I uh, got a couple of things to do on the way home and figure out where I'm going to sit tonight. Here I am. Evening hunt. Didn't see any deer this morning. Uh, definitely some gusty north winds today, so got a place where there's a little bit of a hollow that I can sneak into where uh, some deer may come out and enter, enter into a cornfield before dark. So we're going to head in there and get set up. Well, I'm all set up for the evening, right on the edge of a cornfield tonight. Some pretty strong north winds. So I came down in this little hollow hoping that the deer would work their way up through the hollow where these winds aren't as strong and out into this cornfield before dark. Uh, I've got about two hours until the shooting light is done. Uh, so I got plenty enough time just to sit tight and let the wood settle and hope a couple of nice dog come by. Here's the direction that the doe came from. And uh, they walked right along here, right underneath these four trees. And that's where I was sitting right there in the left hand one that's angled. And literally, I did not see them until they were right underneath me. So I got everything down out of my tree. It's been about 45 minutes since I shot her. So I'm going to go over to where she was standing and uh, see if I can find some initial blood before I take all my stuff back to the truck. <laughs> yeah, baby! So I was up in that tree. She was standing right here. The shot came down and in. I know it didn't go all the way through, 
so it doesn't surprise me that I don't see any blood here. I'm going to go ahead and leave a flashing light. I'm going to go ahead and walk back to the truck and uh, call my buddy Blake and see if he's around and change out of this stuff and then come back and uh, start to track. So I'm pretty frustrated with myself. I just spent over two hours looking for this deer and found absolutely zero blood. Uh, I, I found the arrow, um, very little penetration, if any. I went through all last season and uh, didn't even have a doe in range to shoot. Spent a ton of time in the off season, really studying maps and really taking a look at my trail camera data and really trying to figure out the first two weeks, a couple of spots. I thought that I was gonna catch doe coming from bedding areas and going to feeding areas or vice versa. And the second time I'm out, I've got you know a doe come underneath me, um, passed right by me and uh, I just rushed. and. I hate it because the last thing you want to do is wound an animal. That's why I spend so much time practicing. Um, just got to slow down. I, I got to take my time and we've all been there, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I had an opportunity to shoot a doe with my bow tonight and I screwed it up. And I know there's a lot of season left, but tough way to get started. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure many of you guys have been in the same situation before, frustrated uh, with rushing a shot or, or not taking a great shot or hitting a branch. We've all been there. So you just got to roll with it. You got to learn from your mistakes. And uh, I'll keep doing that and try and stay positive as I continue to go out uh, over the next uh, two and a half months and see what I can do this 2022 season. It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. Hoping you guys have a great day. See ya.